Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to design the reinforced concrete wheel with a span of length 1.5 meters. So it will involve the following procedure. So you can see here we have used 10 mm rod of size and rings of 6 mm and here 1.5 meter beam we are going to cast. So here you have taken the pan, a large pan in order to mix the concrete ingredients. So this is the sand. So this is the coarse aggregate. So for M30 grade of concrete, we are going to take the, in terms of kg, we are going to take the 25 kg of coarse aggregate. So you can see here, we are taking 25 kg of coarse aggregate. So usually the beam is needs to be designed according to the structural requirements and load conditions depending upon the dimensions, reinforcement details and concrete mix design. So slowly again we are collecting the sand about 20 kgs. So you can see here the sand is weighed about 20 kgs. So this is a fine aggregate material that we are going to take 20 kgs. So you can see 20 kg steel reinforcement has been provided known as rebars within the form work according to the design specifications. The rebars are arranged in a specific pattern and tied together using wire or other methods to form a steady framework. So after taking this, all the ingredients like coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, admixtures, cement, okay. So now we are weighing uh, sand about 20 kg. So we have designed for M30 grade concrete and also water has been added. So now you can see a coarse aggregate, sand and they are thoroughly mixed together. Again cement about 20 kg as per the design of M30 grade concrete beam. Beam. Okay. So after mixing this, we are going to pour the concrete into the mold. So now you can, you can see here 20 kg of cement sample that we have taken as a binding material. So cement, sand, coarse aggregate, admixture and water, they have been added into it and mixed homogeneously with the help of travel. So you can see here, we are mixing homogeneously. So this is the reinforcement detail of 10 mm and 6 mm size and again admixture that is chemical of about of about chemical admixtures have been added so thoroughly we have to mix together so still air force uh, usually pouring the concrete the former kind of reinforcement are in place, the concrete is poured into the mold. The concrete mix should have the appropriate strength and workability for the application. After pouring, care should be taken to ensure that concrete reaches all the corners and areas of the form box, eliminating any voids or air pockets. After that, we should do the consolidation. Need to be properly consolidated to in order to remove the trapped air or whites. This can be achieved using vibrators that are inserted into the concrete at regular intervals. The vibration helps to ensure that the concrete is compacted and evenly distributed toward the form work. So you can see here, so all the ingredients have been mixed, there is coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, water, chemical admixture, sorry admixture and cement as a binding material coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and five liters of water has been added now you can see in this picture so slowly we have to mix as a homogeneous mix after mixing we need to pour into the beam mold beam after pouring we need to do the Consolidation with the help of uh, vibrator that you are going to see in the 
you can see a slowly uniform mixture we have to make so after this uh, curing we have to do it's a crucial step that involves providing the necessary conditions for the concrete to gain strength and durability the beam should be protected from excessive moisture loss and kept in a moist and controlled environment this can be achieved through various methods such as covering with the beam with plastic sheet applying curing or compounds or wet bur wet burlap or cutting blankets stripping form once the concrete has sufficiently cured and gain enough strength the form work can be removed care should be taken to avoid any damage to the newly cast beam during the form of removal process so after that finishing after the finishing form work is removed the surface of the concrete is can be finished if required this may involve smoothing the surface or applying protective coatings depending on the desired aesthetics and functional requirements okay hmm so we should identify the specific purpose of the tap in order to determine the compressive strength flexor strength and modulus of elasticity ensure that the concrete beams are properly cured and attain sufficient strength for testing measure and record the dimensions of the beams including length width and height testing equipment compression testing machine so this machine is used to apply a compressive load on the beam until failure or a specific load is reached loading frame a loading frame is used for testing flexural stem and by applying a bending moment to the beam measuring instruments so there are various measuring instruments can be required depending upon the specific test being conducted such as dial gauge deflection gauge or strain gauges after that compression test compression stem test so we need to place the beam on the compression testing machine with proper alignment and support apply compressive load until the beam fails and the, until the desired load is reached record the maximum load and calculate the stress of the failure and calculate the compression strength of the beam so you can see here we are placing the concrete mixture into this beam of 1.5 meter size of 130 grade concrete okay so slowly it is compacted with the tamping rod or else with the help of vibrator with uniform vibrator for m30 grade of concrete and also we need to test for flexural strength we should place the beam on the loading frame which supports a specified distance so now you can see with the help of a vibrator we are uh, consolidating the concrete we are compacting the concrete Help of vibrator to get a uniform mix. Okay, to get a uniform mix. the deflection strength of the beam and deflection measurement deflection also we need to measure with the help of dial gauge or deflection gauge to measure the deflection of the beam under load apply the load incrementally and record the corresponding deflections at each load increment after the strain measurement attach strain gauges to the surface of the beam at specific locations to measure strain apply load incrementally and record the corresponding strains at each load increment next we need to analyze the data to determine the beam strength stiffness and behavior under this load so after this 20 day 20 after 24 hours we should demold this concrete beam of size 1.5 meter we have demolded it and we are going to cap in the curing tank for 28 days of curing okay again we are going to perform the flexural strength of the beam this beam in compressive testing loading frame mm. so you can see here slowly we are placing this 1.5 meter designed for m30 grade of concrete slowly we need to place 
in Turing tank. <laughs> In order to, so why we need to do curing means complete hydration process will take place. So this is the video one, part one video. So in the next part two video, we are going to test this concrete beam under loading frame to calculate the desired characteristics like beam strength, stiffness, and behavior of the load of this flexible concrete beam. So in the next part two video, we are going to describe how this beam is going to be tested under loading frame after curing this 28 days of curing. Okay? Thank you.